Hello and welcome to our first multi-unit financial analysis as we do them every month and this is the first one for 2022 and for this month what we did is select a property in uh, the lower town area and it was a nine unit building for sale at <clears throat> call it $3 million, just a, a shade under $3 million. And as you can see by some of the numbers on the screen, it sold for $3,050,000. It was fire retrofit. It had a scheduled rental income of almost $182,000. And that gives us an effective rental income of about $176,500. The operating expenses were stated as being almost $38,000. And when we factor in um, an additional 5% for maintenance, 5% for management, that gives us total operating expenses of $55,000. <clears> so the net operating income on that is $121,000. Now that we know the net, now that we have the selling price, we can calculate the capitalization rate. In this case here, it was almost 4%. So that's about average to good, and it's kind of indicating that the property probably had a positive cash flow. So reading on the operating expense ratios, 31%. That's really quite good. I've been looking at a lot of buildings lately where they're 35 to 40%. The multiple times the gross, 17 times gross, and it sold for 25 times the net. Both some pretty good numbers. Now, if we look at what I use as a rule of thumb, with a 35% down payment, the property should have a positive cash flow. In this case here, uh, using that, we have a mortgage of a million nine eight two, $1,982,000. dollars <clears throat> and that gives us an annual debt service, that's how much you pay in a year in your mortgage payments, of $112,000 and change. So that gives us a positive annual cash flow of $8,400. And that gives us a positive ROI of 0.79%. So is that a good deal? Somebody thought so? Um, and it does return that positive cash flow of 35% down, uh, down payment. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you.